right, today we're going to be starting topic 14. Um, during this topic um, of today's lesson, we're going to be um, solving problems by adding or subtracting length measurements. And just to kind of give you a little bit of background on the measurements that we're going to be looking at, we're going to be talking about um, yards, inches, and feet. Now we're not going to be using this fancy word called perimeter, but we're going to use something that means that same vocabulary word perimeter. You're not going to learn too much about perimeter until you get to third grade. So this is one of those things I'm going to teach you so that your teacher next year is going to be super impressed with you. Um, so first I want to make sure that you understand the measurements of yards, inches, and feet. Um, here is an example of the measurement of a foot. Um, it's not like your actual foot, but um, <clears throat> this is just a unit of measurement. So one foot is this length of this piece of paper right here. Um, 30 centimeters make up this one foot. Um, we are going to talk briefly a little bit about centimeters, um, but a lot of what you're going to be looking at isn't going to be having to do with the centimeters. So here's a representation of one foot, which is the equivalent of 30 centimeters. Um, here's another representation of one foot. This one, I have it measured off in inches. So if I was looking for what, it, how much is an inch, like what's the size of an inch, um, this measurement right here, of this little fold right there, that is what an inch is. So if I put it like next to my finger, it's not that, it's not that big. So something that is about an inch, like if I look at this sticky note, this sticky note is about three inches long. So just to kind of have a unit of measurement in your head of what does this usually look like, um, I kind of wanted you to have that information. So uh, one foot is worth 12 inches. You don't have to know that part, but I do want to tell you um, because I think it's going to help you. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is a yard. Now I measured this piece of paper. It's pretty long. So I had to tape several pieces of paper together in order to get one entire yard. Um, <clears throat> so one yard is worth three feet. Um, or 36 inches, and so that's like what a yard is. You could walk up to a door, and where the door knob is, that's about the measurement of one yard. So your door is probably about two yards tall and one yard wide. Um, that's just kind of a, a general rule of thumb when people are making doors, I guess. I don't know. Um, so anyways, this is how big a yard is. It's going to be larger than my board, but that's okay. So just so you have like a measurement idea in your head. Um, once I made that piece of paper thing, I found this tool that my husband had, and it's a yard. It's really, really long. That's all you really kind of need to know. So if you were going to measure a pencil, you wouldn't want to use a yardstick because that wouldn't be a good unit of measurement. Um, you would use inches. If you, um, if you wanted to measure a rug, you could use feet. You might use yards, but feet will probably give you a, um, a more specific, I guess, um, unit of measurement. It'll be easier. You won't have like any halves and things like that. Um, so just so you have some background knowledge, yards, feet, inches, I'm going to take these away and we're going to talk a little bit more about the next part where we're adding and subtracting um, different lengths. So I'm taking these away throwing them to the side. I'm going to keep this word perimeter because I want that to be part of your vocabulary. I'm not supposed to teach it to you, but I do think that you can learn that and it wouldn't make your brain explode. So we're going to use that word perimeter. Um, so the first couple of things that I want to talk about um, today, you are going to learn how to measure the distance around an object. So for example, if I had a book and I told you the top is five inches. Now, obviously I'm not measuring this. This is just a pretend book. Um, the top is five inches across and the length on the side is eight inches. Um, you know, because you have some background information about shapes that because this is a rectangle, this length is the same on this side. So because this is five inches, the one on the opposite side is also five inches. Because this side is eight inches, the one on this side is also eight inches. So your job today will be to measure the perimeter, which is the fancy word to say the distance around this pretend book. 
So if you were going to measure that instead of getting your ruler out and saying, okay, let me um, measure this and that and the other thing. No, 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 no. We're going to do an easy um, addition equation. So you're going to say, what is 5 plus 8 plus 5 plus 8? So 5 plus 8 plus 5 plus the 8. Now I've seen some teachers where they put um, a plus sign in between each. So if you started here, you would say 5 plus 8 plus 5 plus 8, and then you just make sure that you stop. Um, so here I've got my addition equation. I'm going to look and I'm going to add my doubles, and then I'm going to add the rest. So 5 plus 5, we know that's 10, and 8 plus 8 is 16. So my new equation, 10 plus 16, that's so, so, so easy. It's 26, and don't forget to write the word for inches. So the distance around the book, the perimeter, is 26 inches. See how it's easy to add the word perimeter? I don't know why I always pick up this green that does not erase. All right, so we'll have another pretend something. And I was looking for my tiny little piece of paper that I guess I lost that had some ideas on what stuff, so. We're good, it's fine. All right, so let's pretend you have a TV. Here's your TV. You have a really long TV. Let's say that it's four feet long, so bigger than a whole yard, wow. Um, and we'll say it's just two feet tall, okay? So we know we're trying to find the distance around the television, the perimeter. We're going to add, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the opposite, so four feet, the opposite side is also four feet, two feet over here, the opposite is also two feet. So if I add four feet plus two feet plus four feet plus the two feet, then I'll get what the perimeter is and I'll know how much the distance around that is. So four plus two plus four plus the two. Remember, we're gonna look and we'll add our doubles. You might look at this and say, hey, oh, two plus two is not two. Um, you might look at this and say, oh, I can do that in my head. I just want you to also have this as an idea that you can use to solve. Um, the 8 plus 4 is 12, and remember it's feet, so we're going to put 12 feet as the total distance around that television. Um, if we had another pretend something, let's just go with, oh, you have a table. I'm gonna make mine a really wide table. And probably, if I had a table, I would probably use feet to measure that as well. Let's say that my table is 10 feet, and this looks very similar, so I'm gonna, I'm not trying to make this be a total square. So I'm gonna just say that it's 10 feet by nine feet, and I wanna find the distance around it the perimeter, so remember, fill in those opposites. So 10 feet over here and nine feet over here. You can put your plus signs in between if you want, that's fine with me, it's not gonna hurt you. Um, so we're gonna say, what is 10 plus nine plus 10 plus nine? Now you might be thinking, well, can't I just say 10 plus 10 plus nine plus nine? You could, but for me, I want you to try to get in that pattern of going around. So if you had a really complicated um, object you were trying to find the perimeter of as you're getting older, you kind of just make sure you don't forget something. All right, so doubles facts. We've got 10 plus 10 is 20, and 9 plus 9 is the 18. Add your plus sign. We've got 38 feet, and that would be the answer for that. Um, let's pretend that you didn't know what one of the sides was. Like, let's just say you had a shape and you were told the total distance around, the total perimeter was 40 inches. And you were only told, hey, um, this right here, this is worth 15 inches. And you've got to figure out well, what is that missing side? Well, hmm, let's think. I know that 15 has to go on the opposite side. And so if I was going to write in my um, addition equation, I would say 15 plus something plus the 15 plus something else equals the 40. Okay, well, I know 15 plus 15 is 30. So now I've got 30 plus 
two somethings has to equal 40. And both of these have to, have to, have to be the same number. So what doubles fact do you know that, ooh, look at this. So 40 minus the 30 tells you that you, ha you have to have 10. So what doubles fact do you know where you add those two numbers and it equals 10? Yeah, it's five. So you know that those missing sides are worth five inches. So this side has to be five and this side has to be five. So 15 plus 15, which was 30, and then five and five makes 10. And if you add it all up, that equals up to be the 40. So you're going to have some problems where you're gonna to have to solve for a missing, a missing side and they're not gonna tell you what it's worth. Um, you might also have some comparisons where, <clears throat> excuse me, you might have, okay, here is, a piece of ribbon, all right, it's ribbon. We'll just pretend. This ribbon is 28 inches long, and this ribbon is, hmm, let's see, maybe it's about 19 inches, and you're told, find with the difference between. So maybe you're saying, this one's longer, how much longer is this first ribbon in comparison to the second ribbon? Um, you're doing the comparing, so you have to find out how much longer, so if this one was, bigger, like where's that spot? How much is this area right here? So 28 minus 19 will tell you what the difference is. Now for you, you might wanna do vertical way. For me, I wanna do compensation because for me compensation, oh, it makes my life so much easier. So it's gonna tell you how many inches. So remember compensation, I'm adding on to both of the numbers. I want this number to be really easy to subtract. So I'm gonna add one to both sides. So 29 minus the 20 tells me that 9 inches is the difference. Now, if you were going to do it vertical way, just to kind of have a refresher, um, 8 minus 9, you can't do that. So you've got to borrow from the tens. That turns this into 18. 18 minus 9 is 9, and 1 minus 1 is nothing. So both of them are giving you that the same difference is 9. So this one is 9 inches longer than the other one. Um, so some of these problems that I'm going to want you to solve um, involve a comparison. Um, some of them might also have you um, compare two people, um, but they're not all going to be subtraction. Some of them might ask you, well, how many do they have in all, or how many do they have together? If they place their items next to one another, how long would they be? Um, let's say, hmm, let's say you were making a necklace. Now, this obviously doesn't look like a necklace. It kind of looks like a ruler, but just pretend it's a necklace. Um, your necklace is 36 inches. Whoa, 36 inches is the same as that whole yard. So, wow, what a nice necklace. Like, you could probably double that over. It could be real fancy. All right, so your necklace is 36 inches, and your friend, hmm, your friend has made a necklace that is 23 inches. Now that's almost two feet. Two feet would be 24. So that is a pretty big necklace as well. Um, how much necklace, how long would your necklaces be if you, if you combined them together? So essentially all you're gonna be doing is adding what is the 36 plus 23. So 36 plus the 23 to figure out how much that it is all together, it will be 59 inches. Um, you might want to solve it a different way. So just like if you were going to solve another way, 36 plus 23. Um, I'm going to use this place value chart with my tens and my ones. And I'm going to put three and six. So that's my 36. And then plus the 23, 20, one, two, and three. Remember when we're doing the addition that you want to go back and um, count how many are in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine in the ones and five in the tens. So 59, which is the same thing that we got over here. So we know if we added these two necklaces together, they would be worth 59 inches. Um, that's essentially what I want you to learn um, with lesson 14.1. Um, adding and subtracting, you might hear the fancy word perimeter in third grade. So pay attention to that. Um, Right now, you just need to practice the distance around. That's the same thing. Okay? Thanks.